Hi everybody, this is Michelle from Virtual Hand Care, your online hand expert. This video is going to be very different from all my other videos where I talk about exercises and tips and treatments. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing my own personal experience of having a lipoma removal. So now that I've pointed it out, maybe some of you have noticed in some of my videos um, you've maybe noticed this little thing up on my clavicle right here as you know there are many different types of cysts and different types of tumors that can happen anywhere on your body and now that i've pointed it out several times that's probably all you guys are looking at am i right <laughs> That's okay. I often, when I see myself in videos or I see myself in pictures, my eye is drawn to this cyst. Maybe it's not as bad, but it's very noticeable to me. And I first started noticing it over four years ago. I didn't really do much about it. It was very small. Um, at the time, I was working for a, a large orthopedic practice and there were many orthopedic surgeons that I worked under and I had them just take a peek at it when I first noticed that it popped up and they just said, it's no big deal. It's very small, minor, and um, not to really worry about it. And I didn't really worry about it. But over the years, I started noticing it getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And because of where it's at, I was getting a little self-conscious about what I was wearing, you know, maybe wanting to have more t-shirts that covered the area. You know, summer is right around the corner and the thought of wearing tank tops um, like this is, you know, not something I necessarily want to do. Not that I really care about what people think, but I am on YouTube. So I figured it's time to have this thing looked at, but also to make sure that it's not something more serious because there are some cancerous type of tumors as well. And so I did wanna make sure that I didn't have something more serious going on. I shouldn't have waited four years, but with the pandemic and having children, as a lot of mothers do, we often put ourselves last. And so here I am now, at least I'm getting it taken care of. So the experience kind of went like this. I made sure I found myself an orthopedic surgeon who specialized in the shoulder. And so I, I met with the surgeon and of course the surgeon did an evaluation of the, the possible cyst tumor thing. And um, he said it could be a few different things. It could be a cyst. Typically when you have a cyst in the shoulder, it usually comes off of the AC joint. Um, or down here, but mine's a little bit farther up on the uh, clavicle, uh, closer to the neck. So he said, well, then it, you know, it also could possibly be a, a tumor. So he took an x-ray, which of course didn't show anything and didn't show that it was any kind of a bony tumor of any kind. Um, and so then he recommended an MRI. So I had the MRI and that did confirm a lipoma so luckily it was not a cyst um, down in the ac joint that had traveled kind of all the way up here or that would be a little bit more involved now side note if you haven't had an mri i like to describe it basically as putting a bucket on your head and taking pots and pans and hitting them really fast over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, right by your head. It is very, very loud and you're put through this very small space. Now, if you're claustrophobic, I can really see how somebody uh, would not like to be put in that situation and how they would like to have an open MRI. I'm not claustrophobic, at least I didn't think I was, um, and, but I could see how you could easily get yourself kind of um, anxious about the whole process, especially if you're not breathing correctly. Now, they were very nice at the MRI place that I went and they do provide music and they also put some blankets on you and you can wear uh, earplugs as well. Uh, that's what I chose to do uh, because I have three boys and I don't often get time to myself to where I can just kind of sit still and just kind of zone out. So that's what I chose to do. Now the earplugs didn't really keep all that noise out of course so that banging 
constantly uh, did kind of get to me a little bit but like I said I have three boys so things can get pretty loud with them too and so I just took it as a chance to just kind of zone out and relax so of course after I had the MRI then the doctor did then confirm that it was a lipoma and it was not anything to be concerned about the doctor did explain the procedure that it's going to be a pretty fast procedure and I'll have an incision and just have to be a little uh, cautious of movement and just kind of take it easy for a little while. Now I did also just get my blood drawn today too and they do just do a little bit of a blood workup just to make sure that I'm good to go to have the surgery. So in a few days the next time you guys see me this will be gone. <laughs> so do make sure that you come back and check out some of the next videos where I'm going to talk more about the post-operative process of having a surgery. So um, incision care, scar management, um, working on range of motion, all those kind of things. And I want to share that journey with you guys so that maybe that can help you in the process if you have something similar. Let me know in the comments below if that helped you or if you've gone through a similar process or maybe if you had a, a cyst or a lipoma removed as well. And let me know how that went for you. Now, if you found this video helpful, do give it a like and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.